What up, people? It's Nick Ives here, and today I'm going to be talking about Baraka. Now, a lot of people don't think Baraka is a perfectly balanced character, but I do. Well, I'm not going to say a lot of people. I would say, like, half the community doesn't think he is a balanced character because of this right here. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Baraka? Damage. Look at that. Look at all that damage and that tick. This character has absolutely ridiculous damage. And look, this is mid screen. And ticks almost to 50%. His damage is through the roof. Like, they <laughs> gave him, I think. The most consistent damage in the game, like if you just want to go like easier, well not go easier, but an easier damage route, you can literally just do that. This right here, dash, all that damage. Now, I'm going to be talking about why I think Baraka is perfectly balanced. Now, notice you get your damage off of this right here. This move gutted. Now you could do gutted off of multiple things. You could do it off of that, if you want to, that, the low. You have options, the knee. But the thing about Baraka's access to all this damage is he can only really get his damage off of a high consistently. He's getting that off of a punish, a grab bait, you know, stuff like that. And he can do the low, but if we look at the low here, the low is 14 frames. That's not slow, but it's not exactly very fast either. So what that means is if you want to get consistent damage with Baraka, you have to commit to this knee. Otherwise, they have ways to get out of it. Unless you just find a way, or if you just find the perfect moments to go in with this low. That right there. For the most part, he's not just getting his damage all the time. Now, what would make Baraka broken is if he could do this right here in the gutted. He would have a mid check into gutted all the time. But the fact of the matter is, this is his best tool, his best strength, and he can't really get damage off of it unless he's in the corner. And the fact that they were smart enough to balance that out, actually, I really actually think that they knew what they were doing when they made Baraka. If they gave him this into gutted, he would be ridiculous, but they purposely did not give him that. And the fact that he has to commit if he really wants his damage is just perfect. That's why I think he's a perfect design character. If a Baraka is, how can I say, if he's doing all these high damage combos on you, it's because you're just simply not blocking or you don't know when to take your turn and stuff like that because he can't get this damage consistently unless he commits if he commits he could just do me into grab well in the gut it or grab all day and if you want that big damage off of a mid you have to commit that's why i think this character is balanced and like i'm like i was saying all of the stuff come off of highs and this low and he has an overhead too but the overhead is not anything too amazing because Baraka doesn't have unfuzzyables. So this character is not going to really open you up at all, except in the other variation, but this one is so much better. He's not going to open you up from anything but grab. And if you look at his grab, look at that. He doesn't get a throw loop off of either grab. So for him to open you up, he has to grab you because he doesn't have really good mix-ups. And when he finally does grab you, he pushes you away. So that 
is another reason I think he's balanced. He doesn't have this dumb damage even with out you using the mid, you know, because he can still do the high. Even if he gets the high or whatever, and then boom, get his damage. All right, I'm gonna grab them now. Now, you know, he is not in the position he wants to be in. Now he still has some good zoning, but he excels right here. This is where he wants to be. He doesn't have that great of zoning. I'm not gonna say his zone is trash because he can outzone a lot of people. Like if you really think about it, his zone is good. He outzones Cassie. Like his zone is amazing. And the fact that you can the fact that he doesn't get a throw loop makes it to where I think that they really thought about what they were doing when they made him. So he doesn't get a throw loop, he doesn't get a combo off of this, and he doesn't really have any mix-ups that he's gonna be throwing out all the time. So at the end of the day, this character is just pure raw damage and good zoning. And I think that's a perfectly designed character. I actually made a video, I think a month or two ago, describing how I feel about Baraka. And I think Baraka is the best character for beginners, like period because he has his good buttons up close. You can just mash this out. He has the uh, zone in. Like, he's perfect for beginners, and I think he's a perfectly designed character. That's just my opinion. And from what I heard, a lot of people were saying he was never good in other games. So I think that's cool that they did him right in this game and made him a very good character. He's a solid pick. And I think when all these top tiers get nerfed, He's going to shoot up there, and he's going to be a good pocket character to have. So, yeah, that's what I think about Baraka. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and Nick Ops out.